This is called Launch of Dreams. It's my installation for the LEGO team in collaboration with some school kids in North London. So what would you do to this laundrette if you could make it fun? I would put a machine and it will give you anything in the world. So you'd, oh, I like that. It's like a sort of vending machine, right? If I could build anything in the world on my street, it would be a white rabbit. For me, it's a personal space that I've kind of used, spent a lot of time in during my childhood years. What can we do to kind of turn it up so then I make it more fun and exciting? Kids, when they're at the infancy of, of a young age, they have the ability to dream and you know, build and, and rebuild. They see things that I can't even see. Ah. If you were allocated one washing machine, what would you rebuild? A Lego city. A Lego city? It's just London, but made out of Lego. I think Yink has done a really good job. He rebuilt the laundrette, but he put loads of fun things in it. In this one, there's loads of different colours. So I like it here more than the old stinky laundrette. When you walk into the space, you smile because the colours kind of control you. This is super important in my work because I think it's an extension of kind of who I am um, and my culture and my identity. I think that's the power of, of, of colours that you can tell stories and invoke a feeling and also evoke an emotion. I want to sort of see how, you know, Lego bricks can respond to my colours. How would we build patterns using Lego bricks? You can build and take away instantly, and there's no kind of rules to how you build. Nothing is impossible. Everything's possible with Lego bricks. Look at the 